It's a spring day and there's a chance for thunderstorms and tornadoes in your area. But you think, I live in the mountains, tornadoes can't happen here, right? Wrong. How about this? You're in a desperate situation driving down the highway with a tornado hot on your trails and you need to seek shelter immediately. You decide that the best place for you to seek shelter is under an overpass that's coming up, right? Wrong. Let's try one more. You've been notified that a tornado is coming for your house and you need to seek shelter immediately. But first, you think that you need to open the windows of your house so that the house doesn't explode when the tornado hits, right? Wrong. These are some extremely common tornado myths and today we're going to be debunking them, Mythbuster style. Tornado myths are extremely common, with some being passed around more than others and some being much more dangerous to you than others as well. Myth number one. If you're driving on the highway and need to seek shelter from a tornado, the best spot to hide is under an overpass. This has to be one of the most popular tornado myths, and this is without a doubt the most dangerous one that you can fall for. Overpasses are one of the most dangerous spots that you can hide during a tornado for a few reasons. First of all, when a tornado hits an overpass, the winds from the tornado actually accelerate because of the small spaces under the overpass which creates a wind tunnel effect. Just like how when you go in between two large buildings in the city, the wind is always higher there. Regardless of if the overpass is actually going to intensify the winds, the actual shape of the overpass can and will channel tornadic debris towards your location making you a very obvious target. Of course, there's also a chance that the intense tornadic winds could just suck you up from under the overpass. Or maybe they cause the entire bridge to collapse on top of you. Over the years, numerous people have died while seeking shelter from tornadoes under overpasses with one of the more notable incidents being on May 3, 1999 when an F5 tornado struck central Oklahoma. This is an actual picture of the bridge that one person was killed during that tornado. In fact, you can even see where people were sheltering as there's gaps in the red clay that was being blown into the bridge. Myth number two. Natural features in the land such as rivers, lakes, mountains, or valleys protect you from tornadoes. This is another pretty common tornado myth, and if you live near any of the previously mentioned geographical features, I guarantee you've heard this one at least once in your life from somebody. It's no secret that these places are not ideal for the formation of tornadoes, but in fact tornadoes have been documented in each of these locations at least once. How about this tornado that formed in the Rocky Mountains well above 10,000 feet in elevation? Or maybe this F4 tornado that occurred at 8,000 feet in Yellowstone National Park back in 1987. In terms of major rivers, numerous tornadoes have crossed the Mississippi River without incident. For instance, this EF3 tornado that crossed the Connecticut River in Massachusetts back in 2011. Myth number three, tornadoes cannot hit the same place twice. This is another common tornado misconception that kind of goes hand in hand with the other weather myth of lightning can't strike the same place twice. Try telling this myth to the people, if they were still alive, who lived in Cordell, Kansas, who were hit by a tornado on May 20th, 1916, May 20th, 1917, and May 20th, 1918. And yes, you heard that right. Cordell, Kansas did get hit by a tornado three years in a row on the same day. Another town to debunk this myth is Guy, Arkansas, which was hit by three tornadoes in the span of one day. Another prime example is Moore, Oklahoma, which has been hit by numerous tornadoes over the years, including two EF5 and F5 tornadoes in 1999 and 2013. The moral of this myth is that it's exceptionally rare for this to happen, for obvious reasons, but it's not impossible. Myth number four, tornadoes can't hit cities. This myth is pretty similar to the mountain myth because a lot of people think that the tall buildings in the cities actually protect them from the tornadoes, when in reality this myth is just as inaccurate as the mountain myth. Tornadoes can and do hit cities including Salt Lake City back in 1999. Oklahoma City many times. Dallas many times.
and Joplin in 2011. The list goes on and on, but I think you get the point. Tornadoes are typically 5 to 10 miles tall, so a building that's between 500 and 1,000 feet tall isn't going to stop a tornado. I hate to break it to you. Myth number five, you should open the windows of your home before a tornado hits so the house doesn't explode. This myth was actually widely believed by a majority of people until pretty recently in the 1980s or 1990s. The backstory to this one is that a lot of people thought the much lower pressure at the center of a tornado when interacting with the high pressure of a house caused the house to violently explode outward when the tornado hit. People thought that if you opened the window of your house before the tornado hit, it would allow the pressure to equalize between the tornado and your house, thus saving you from an explosion. It was eventually discovered that this is not true, and the damage that you see from tornadoes is caused by the winds of the tornadoes themselves. Also, if you're opening the windows of your house before a tornado hits, you're wasting precious time that you should be using to seek shelter before the actual tornado hits. Also, by opening windows, you're putting yourself exactly where you don't want to be in your house for a tornado, next to the windows. So don't do it. Myth number six, tornadoes can only happen in the spring and summertime. It's no secret that the prime season for tornadoes is spring and summer, but don't let that fool you because tornadoes can happen any time of year and even in some really strange places during the winter or fall given the right conditions. Since the year 1950, there's been at least one tornado recorded on every single day of the year, with the quietest day being January 16th with only seven tornadoes recorded. As previously mentioned, tornadoes can also happen in unlikely places given the correct atmospheric conditions. For example, this tornado in Massachusetts in February of 2017 or this tornado that just occurred recently in February of 2024 in Wisconsin, or this tornado outbreak that occurred in the Midwest in December of 2021 that produced 72 tornadoes. Did I miss any tornado myths? Let me know in the comments and you might see them in part two of this series. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. I hope you learned something and thank you for watching.